basic terminology related to the undirected graph. First case is the adjacent vertices. Two vertices U and V in an undirected graph is called the adjacent or the neighbors in a graph G if U and V are the end point for the edge E. And in that case, such edge is called as an incident with the vertex U and V. Or we can say that E is connected to U and V vertex. For example, for this graph G, the adjacent vertices of V1 are V2, V3 and V4 because they are connected with some edges. So adjacent vertices of V1 are V2, V3, V4. So adjacent vertex of V2 are V1 and V3 because V1 is connected with V2 by an edge E1 and V3 is connected with V2 by an edge E5. So adjacent vertices of V2 are V1 and V3. Now adjacent vertices for the V3. So V3 is connected with V1 and V2. Now for the V4, V4 is adjacent to only vertex V1. So now in this case, E1 edge is incident to the vertex V1 and V2, whereas E2 edge is incident with vertex V1 and V4. Next is the degree of a vertex in an undirected graph. It is calculated as the number of edges incident with that vertex plus the loop at that vertex is contributed as a twice. So in general, the degree of a vertex is equal to the number of incident edges plus two times of self loop. For example, in this graph, we have a six vertices V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. Now, what is the degree for the vertex V1? So V1 is associated with the three edges. So three edges are incident with the vertex V1. So its degree is three. So degree of a vertex two, again it is associated with the three edges. So answer is three. So degree of a vertex three, only one edge is incident with V3. So degree is one. So degree of V4 is so one edge is a E3. Second edge is an E4. Now there is a self loop E4. So self loop is contributed as a twice. So answer is 1 plus 1 plus 2. So answer is a 4 in this case. So degree of vertex V5 that is 3 edges are incident with the vertex V5. So degree of V6. So no edge is incident with V6 vertex. So its degree is 0. Note that when a vertex of the degree 0 is there in a graph, that vertex is called as an isolated. So in this graph, so degree of a vertex 6 is 0. So it means vertex 6 is called as an isolated vertex. Second point is that a vertex is called as an appendant if and only if its degree is 1. So now in this example, the degree of a vertex 3 is 1. So we will call V3 as a pendant vertex. Handshaking theorem. So let G is the undirected graph with E edges. Then the total degree of graph is calculated as sum of the degree of all the vertices from the vertex set, which is further is equal to 2 times of number of edges. In the previous case, we have already calculated the degree at each vertex. Now, the total degree in this graph can be calculated into two ways. One way is calculate the degree at individually vertex after that sum it up. So according to this, the total degree of graph, that is the summation of degree of all the vertices from the vertex set V, that is equal to 14 in this case. Second procedure is we can use the handshaking theorem, which say that total degree of a graph, that is, is equal to the total number of edges into 2. So the total number of edges in this graph is equal to 7.
So the degree of a graph is equal to two times of a edges that is, is equal to two into seven that is, is equal to four. Let's take another example. It says that how many edges are there in a graph with a ten vertex each of degree six. So it is given to you the total number of vertices are ten. So degree of each vertex is six. Now the degree of a graph G is equal to the sum of the degree of all the vertices. Since ten vertices are there with each degree as a six, so the total degree of that graph is equal to ten into six. Sixty. Now we can use the hand checking theorem in order to calculate the number of edges because we know that the total degree is equal to two into number of edges. So the total degree in this case is sixty. So let the number of edges are e. So this implies the value of e is equal to thirty. So there are thirty edges in a graph with the ten vertices each of degree. Six and that is the answer. So the next is the terminology is related to the directed graph. So in a directed graph, if we say that there is an edge from u to v that is written in an ordered pair u comma v, it means that edge starts from a u vertex and ends at the v vertex. In that case, we will say that u is adjacent to vertex v. And V is adjacent from a vertex U. So if we consider this edge E one, so for this E one edge, the end points are V and W, where V is adjacent to W and W is adjacent from V. So in this case, V is called as an initial vertex for the edge E one. And W is called as a terminal vertex for the edge E one. In the case of self loop, the terminal vertex as well as the initial vertex are same. Next is the in degree and out degree of a vertex in a directed graph. So in a directed graph, the in degree of a vertex V is denoted by this one. That is a degree with the negative symbol over here. And it is calculated as the number of edges with the vertex V as their terminal vertex. Whereas the out degree of a vertex is denoted as this one. This is degree plus then V, which is calculated as the number of edges with the vertex V as their initial vertex. It is important to note that the in degree and the out degree of the self loop is contributed as a one one each in case of directed graph. So over here, if V is a vertex in a graph G with a self loop over here, so in this case, the in degree of a vertex V is equal to one as well as the out degree of a vertex V is one. Now moving towards the next example, suppose this is a graph H is given to you. With the four vertices, now we will calculate the in degree and out degree of each vertex. So in this case, in degree of a vertex A. So how many edges are there whose terminal vertex is A? So answer is zero. So in this case, the in degree of a vertex A is zero. Whereas the out degree of a vertex A is one because E one is an edge whose initial vertex is a A. Next is the in degree of a V vertex. That is one in this case, and out degree of a vertex B is again one. Now in degree of a vertex C. So how many edges are coming towards C? That is one. Out degree of a vertex C. How many edges are going away from vertex C? That is a one. Now moving towards the vertex D. So what is the in degree of a vertex D? So one in degree due to the edge E three and the one in degree due to the edge E four. So answer is two. So what is the out degree of a vertex D? So answer is one only because of the self loop. Now what is the total in degree of the graph H? That is is equal to sum of all the in degrees over here. That is four. So, what is the out degree 
of a graph h so that is is equal to again the sum of the out degrees of the vertices that is is equal to 4 now count the number of edges over here so total edges in this case is 4 now there is an important result it says that let g is a graph with the directed edges then the sum of the in degree of the vertices is equal to the sum of the out degree of the vertices which is further is equal to the number of edges so this represents the cardinality of the edge set e a regular graph a graph is called regular if the degree of each vertex is equal it is called as a k regular graph if the degree of each vertex is k for example so we need to identify the regular graph over these two one so g1 so first we will calculate the degree of each vertex so now what is the degree of a vertex a that is 3 degree of a vertex b that is equal to 3 because three edges are associated with the vertex b now the degree of the vertex c So its degree is one, two, and the self loop is counted as a two. So its degree is four. Since the degree of each vertex is not same, therefore G one is not a regular graph. What about the graph two? So calculate the degree of each vertex. So degree of a vertex A. So how many edges are associated with the vertex A? So one, two, three, and four. So the degree of a vertex A is four. So what is the degree of the vertex B? So one, two, and two for the self loop. So total degree for the vertex B is four. So degree of the vertex C. So one, two, three, four. So four edges are associated with the degree. with the vertex c so degree of the vertex d so this is again is equal to the four two incident edges and one self loop that is counted as a twins so degree of each vertex in this graph is same so we can call it as a regular graph so g2 is a regular graph moreover we can write it as a four regular graph because the degree of each vertex in this case is four so there is an important result it say that if we have a k regular graph and the k is odd then the number of vertices in that graph must be an even so it's very easy to calculate this one so we know that total degree of a graph is equal to 2 into number of edges suppose there are a v vertices and if it is a k regular graph means the degree of each vertex is k so we can multiply this as into k and we will get the total degree so this is as equal to 2 into number of edges now from here it is given to you that k is odd and if it is a odd now what is the behavior of a v such that your quantity is even because the right hand side is even so this is only possible when v is a multiple of a 2 it means the cardinality of a vertex set is even so there is a second result which says that the number of edges in a k regular graph with n vertices is equal to n into k by 2 the proof is similar to the previous one so let the number of edges in a k regular graph with the n vertices be a e so by the hand checking theorem total degree of a graph is equal to 2 into number of edges now the total degree how to calculate this total degree so now there are a n vertices each of degree k so the total degree is the product of these two one so total degree is n into k that is equal to 2 into number of edges so from here you can calculate the value of edges that is e